Hey guys, it is me, Keith Sami Unlimited, and today is Tuesday. Tuesdays on my videos where I can tackle whatever I feel like it. And today I am going to be doing a deck profile for you guys because obviously you guys loved it when I showed you my Teller Knight deck, and Teller Knights is pretty much like the deck I'm known for. Constellas, the Teller Knights, Teller Knights, same shit. I thought to myself, I'm like, well, what's the next best deck in my roster? And a deck that I think takes a lot of skill and a deck that I love dearly, which is dun da da da. Ignisters. I love this deck. This deck pretty much got me back into Yu-Gi-Oh! during a time frame where I was kind of like out of the loop a little bit, and it pretty much was my deck that helped me push into learning about Link Monsters. And I think that the deck is very, um, strategy based it's a very it's a deck that takes a lot of skill to learn i sat and i failed with the deck many many times before i actually got good with it it's a deck that i feel like when i duel with it i feel very confident i feel very like it, the deck's like second nature to me i find the deck to be extremely fun and i would highly recommend it it's a little bit of a one trick pony but when you get into that pony you know you know you try it out and you get really comfortable with it you know i don't want to get off that horse and go to some other stupid shit i like i like being here so if you guys would like to see me continue to do more deck profiles like this like the video and we're going to get on into this and i will shrink myself down and you will see my deck profile on uh edio pro <laughs> my explanation at the end of why I use what I use. So getting on into it, I play one Gachi Ignista. I play one Damari Ignista. I play three Picaris. Picari is pretty much like the straddles of the deck, that along with a Chi Chi. And then we got my two Math Mech techs, which I personally like. I pretty much like to link climb with this deck. I use two Dion's, and most people only play one, but I personally like them at two. Then I use one burrow i then use my three ash i have three achichis my achichi obviously is like another stratos if anybody knows anything about me and Yu-Gi-Oh, is i like a very consistent fast spammy deck and this deck was right up my alley then i run one water ignista i then use three droll and lock birds and i use two effect veilers now that's pretty much my monster lineup and then we're going to go into my spells which is I run three when I met you. I then use two fighting spirits. I use three Synet Minings and I use three Idol Reborns. Now, a lot of people that I have seen don't really like using Spirit and Idol Reborn. Half the time they're not in the deck. Half the time I maybe only see one of each. Sometimes not even that. <laughs> I personally think that Idol Reborn is a three of in this deck. I need this card every game. It's one of my most default combo cards to use in this deck. And that's something of me using the deck for a good amount of time that I learned that I really kind of need to rely on this. Then I use one Call by the Grave. I would have loved to use it at two if it was at two. And then I use one Cross Out Designator. I pretty much use a good handful of hand traps, so... I'm most likely, it, it, I always have the thing to target, so it's good. Then I use two Ignista lands, and then my three Infinite Imperiences. I'm going to get into the extra deck, and then after that, I'm going to give my brief uh, explanation. You know, Wind Pegasus is obviously in there because he can pop back row and shuffle shit. Like, we, we love that. And then I have my Light Dragon, Ignista. Then we got, you know, the good old Math Mech Searcher. You know, we could appreciate that. Now, the Arrival. The Arrival, ugh. I love that card. I love that card so much. Then I have my one Dark Fluid, my Axis Code Talker. Then I got my Trans Code Talker. Then I got Heat Soul, another beauty of the deck that I love very much. And then I got my Dark Templar, which gets every uh, key piece where I need to be going. My SP Little Knight. And then I got my Splash Mage. I got my Cyverse Wicked. And then I got my Crystal Heart. And then I got two Dark Infants. Now... What I love about this deck, every time when I use this deck, a lot of times when I've seen people use it, you know, you could obviously end with 
different link monsters. I know that they have that other bird, that other firewall dragon, and I, I know a lot of people use that. Not really for me. Dark fluid, I see a lot of people end on. I personally, yet again, don't like to end on it. There's something with me ending on the arrival. I could summon the arrival either with 5,000 attack or 4,000. Usually I do four. And when I play this card, I love that because I, I pretty much sit on my tower. I got hand traps for days. And I like to see you try to get over it. I love that, like, that playfulness. I, I sometimes, like, you know, I don't really want to sit you down and negate, negate, negate. I, I, I you know, I, that's what hand traps are for. When it comes to my field, I like to end with the arrival with 4,000 attack that you cannot touch unless you got a, a, a kaiju then then you could touch it or and on top of having the arrival i usually end with heat soul i usually end with heat soul and the arrival and i'm consistently drawing my hand traps and then you're dealing with my hand traps with this big crazy beat stack that cannot be touched i love that i think that that to me is what Yu-Gi-Oh is about you summon something busted and see if your opponent can tear it down that is right up my alley. I love that card. I think it's just so fun. And to me, I I really like that. I, I There's something with me where I just like, I like seeing a big beast that has to like, you know, just how are you going to deal with this? Because I'm not picking apart what you can do. I'm not telling you what floodgate effect we're going to be dancing to this turn. I'm pretty much like, big monster, deal with it. Now, let's see what you got. I like this. And then, you know, I'll throw a hand trap here and there at you. But pretty much this deck has been stuck with me for a good amount of time already. I think I've been playing this deck for maybe like three, four years now. And yeah, this deck has not budged from my side. Like I, and for me, I I made a video with this, uh, with Evan a long time ago about this, where I like, you know, the concept of like slime cards. Like I liked, you know, growing up, I loved Revival Jam. I always wanted them to make a cool slime deck. And the, and the Ignister monsters in the main deck look like that they look like these little slimy creatures and i just think that they're cute looking i'm just like there's something about them and i love that they have their advanced forms where synchro ritual fusion you know link monster like, uh, like I, I they have like all these different aspects that it could go in it's pretty much like kind of like how i felt about ddds because ddds kind of do a little bit of everything and yet again ddds are so fucking complicated like if you know how to play ddds and you can play them effectively I really had a great time featuring this deck. This deck I love to use. I pretty much, this and Teller Knights are pretty much the two decks that I mostly run in Master Duel at the moment. Because the other deck that I probably use mostly on Edio Pro is Millennium Exodia. So if you guys would like to see me kick that off and show that to you guys, I'll be more than happy to show that as well. If you guys want to. I saw, like I said before, how well the Constella video did. And I said, hey, if they really like that. Maybe they'll like to see more. So, yeah. So, if you guys would like to see me do more deck profiles, please like the video. And, yeah. And you'll see a video with Spidey on Thursday. Me on Saturday with Spidey. <laughs>